Hello, it's a two-parter today. In the first part I want to talk about certified seed potatoes and in the second part I want to talk about shop-bought potatoes. Uh, and in the first part I'm going to be asking you something and in the second part, and this is for the benefit of new gardeners of which there are many, I'm going to give you some information born from experience. Okay, there may be other channels telling you other things but I'm going to give you this from experience and with evidence. Okay, let's talk about certified seed potatoes. I've got one here. There you go. That's a certified seed potato called Kestrel. Nice way plant growing on there. Certified seed potato called Kestrel. Let's move Kestrel to one side. And that's the packaging. Or part of the packaging that Kestrel came in. And it's a certified seed potato. But what exactly is being certified here? My understanding of certification is that there is a certificate, an actual certificate, if something's certified. Now here's the question, have you ever seen one? Have you ever seen one of these certificates? What do you think is actually being certified when you buy certified seed potatoes? Well I've actually looked on this for some clues. And the only thing I can find is the name of the potato, Kestrel. So I'm guessing the certifying that the potatoes that were in this packet were definitely Kestrel. And if I look around it, I find here it says Origin, Scottish Basic Seed Potatoes. So the certifying that the potatoes in this packet are a variety called Kestrel and they were grown in Scotland. Okay, is that all we're going to get? Is that all we're going to get? Let's have a look at a shop-bought potato in comparison. This is a potato called Jazzy. In fact, I actually still have a Jazzy that hasn't been planted yet. As you can see it's, it's well chitted. And this is the packet that Jazzy came in. Now let me just read you the information on this packet. Okay. Jazzy, that's the variety, was grown in Lancashire. That's in England, the United Kingdom. And it was grown by Rachel Sanderson. Hey, how about that? So we know where these potatoes were grown, what variety they are, and who grew them. I think this packet here has given me more information than that um, packet that came with the certified seed potato. I think I've got just as much information about this potato, this store-bought potato, as I've got from that certified seed potato. What do you think? I don't know. I honestly don't know what's being certified here. Right, let's move on to the second half of this video. That's certified seed potatoes out of the way. So, bearing in mind the restrictions we're all under at the moment, um, and it might be difficult to get seed potatoes, and you might be one of those new gardeners that's recently subscribed, what you want to know is, can you grow store-bought potatoes? Well, there are plenty of videos around YouTube that will show you that you definitely can. But there are also a lot of comments against those videos that tell you you can't. And you can't grow shop-bought potatoes 
because they won't cheat. And they won't cheat because they've been sprayed with some growth inhibitor or some retardant that stops them cheating. Well, I'm just going to show you something here that will prove that that is a load of baloney, certainly in the United Kingdom. But hey, visit some of the proper American gardeners growing potatoes and you'll find that they're also growing potatoes from store-bought potato. Same for Canada, same for Australia. I don't know anybody that sprays potatoes. Lots of talk about it, but I don't think it happens. And I hope this video will prove that to you when I show you the evidence. Okay, let's have a look at this one. You've seen this one before. This is that Jazzy. Jazzy looks as though it wants to grow. Do you agree? Jazzy looks as though it wants to grow. So that's one store-bought variety. And I've actually grown Jazzy over the years. And what I hope to be able to do is at the end of this video pin on a reveal from previous years that will show some potatoes, store-bought potatoes, that I've actually grown. Right, look at these two guys. These two guys are Jemson. They're grown in the United Kingdom and they're grown on Redmere Farms. So we know what variety they are and where they're grown. And who grew them? Redmere Farms. They look as they want, though they want to grow, don't they? That's Jemson. What have we got here? Oh, hold on. These are a variety called Cara. Now I'm actually growing these this year. I've got these in the raised bed, I think. Hey, shop bought potato Cara. Come on, they're going to grow. Now they were grown by Gavin Fleming in Angus, which is in Scotland. Hey, we know who, who grew them, where he grew them, what they call them, what the variety is. Come on, there's more information on this packet than there is with the um, seed potatoes. Now, I'm not too sure what you get in the way of information in the US or Canada or Australia or New Zealand. Perhaps you can tell us what sort of information do you get. Hey, look at this. This is colourful. Hey, these three guys want to go. Look at that. Shop bought potatoes. This is Maris Pier. These were grown in the county of Angus and in the United Kingdom by Mark Middleton. Hey, look at all the information we need here. We know exactly what we're growing. We know where it come from. Blimey, and I know where it's going. These are going in 10 inch water buckets. I'm growing these guys. I've done it every year. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. It's getting warm in here. This sun's getting to me. I'm going nuts. Right, what's these? White potatoes. Here we go. Oh. Well, they're not exactly white now. They're more green, but these have been on the veg rack for quite some time. They're going to grow. What's wrong with you? Growth retardant, chit suppressant. What planet are you on? Come on, these are going to grow. Right, this is a variety called Cultra. I've also got some Cultra in the raised bed this year. And these were go grown in the county of East Lothian. So these are another Scottish potato. I'm not too sure we get the grower's name for this. Oh yes we do. Yeah we do. It's Billy Logan again. Billy Logan has grew these potatoes. Right, last one, and then we'll call it a day. What have we got here? Let's have a look. Hold on. What are these? <laughs> I've left the most difficult to pronounce the last. The county of Roxburghshire. 
I'll, I'll try that again. I'll try that again in a minute. Okay, look at these here. These potatoes are going to grow, aren't they? It's another Scottish potato. It's a potato called Saxon and it's grown in Roxburghshire uh, in Scotland. And that's, these potatoes are grown by Mike Dagg. Right. Are you convinced? Are you convinced you can grow shop-bought potatoes? Does this not convince you? All these potatoes just chitting up, ready to go. They don't know whether they're seed potatoes or shop-bought potatoes. All they know is, you put them in some dirt, you put them in some soil, you'll have a potato plant. Trust me, I've done it year on year on year. Now then, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to cut to a potato reveal that I'd done some time ago, not this year. And I think some of the potatoes, if not all of the potatoes, are store-bought potatoes. That should settle the argument. That should settle the argument. And once we've settled this argument, if you come across any channel that talks about growth inhibitors, sprout inhibitors, Ask the person talking about it, where do they do this? Who does it? Why do they do it? W what's the point? I mean the transportation systems we've got now and the refrigeration systems and storage systems. In the UK most potatoes are not in the store more than a week, two weeks and they're sold. And the replacements come in. <laughs> you know it's quick turnaround now, perhaps in days gone by they needed to use something that would stop potatoes sprouting but hey don't use it anymore i don't think they do okay watch the video uh, if you want to comment on any of the stuff that i've talked about today please do this is homegrown veg signing out hello if you're a follower of mine you'll know that i've been growing potatoes in a raised bed these are the potatoes being planted earlier in the year. These are the planting rolls and this is the arrangement. Uh, five rows of three different varieties of potato growing in a raised bed. Check this out. Okay, so that was the potatoes being planted. Um, since then the potatoes have grown on really well, uh, they look to be uh, nice potatoes and we've actually harvested some of those potatoes. Uh, we've harvested a potato called Lily, which was the short row of three potatoes nearest the camera. We've harvested Rooster and we've harvested Saxon and all those potatoes are shop bought potatoes. Uh, we did a weigh in on each occasion and I'm going to dovetail that into this video now uh, before I go any further. So check out these three weigh-ins, uh, it won't take long, and then come back to me. Uh, so let's do a weigh-in. Okay. If I've done this correctly, that point it should go to zero. Has it gone to zero? I hope it has. I'm on the wrong side of the camera here. Right? <laughs> okay. And these are the potatoes we harvested today. Wow. What have we got, Molly? That looks like six and a half pound to me. Is that three kilogram? It won't be there or thereabouts. One kilogram of potatoes from each of those one store-bought potatoes that was probably that big. How good is that? Just over two pound of potatoes from each of those store-bought potatoes. That's worth doing, isn't it? That's a success, isn't it? We're happy with this. We're definitely happy with this. Aren't we Molly? Yeah, she's not in. We're happy with this. She'll be even happier. 
when I give her this later tonight, when she has her evening meal. Okay, well, let's do a weigh-in. Can you remember what uh, Lily had? What did Lily give us? I think Lily gave us um, six and a half pound, which was about three kilos. Is that about right? Right. Let's see what this looks like. No, not quite there, a bit more adjustment more. Well, that looks like it. Okay, this could be a bit of a balancing act now. We're on a bit of an angle here, yeah? So we're going to try it. Right, let's see if we can lift these guys on wall without them rolling all down the garden. And we'll take that one out because that one definitely isn't. Oh, there's more than one, isn't there? We'll take those three out. They probably belong to uh, Lily and we missed them. So that weight that we gave you for Lily had those three small potatoes onto that. Okay, here we go. So this is rooster. Three shop bought, set aside, potatoes grown in a raised bed. That's looking precarious. <laughs> oh well, rooster's certainly seen Lily off. I'm going to need to adjust this camera, I'm not too sure you're getting this, but that's um, eight and a half pound. That's eight and a half pound. What was Lily? Six and a half. We had those three ones that we found today. Nearly two pound more. What do you think? Let me just uh, adjust this camera. Well that looks eight and a half pound to me. Are you getting it? Eight and a half pound. Okay, we've no need for the uh, spent mushroom crate for this hole. Uh, it's not too big. Certainly doesn't look as big as the hole that we got from um, Rooster. And perhaps not as big as the hole we got from Lily, but we'll only find out when we weigh it, won't we? So let's weigh it. Let's do a weigh it. Okay, it's a bit of a balancing act now, but I think with a bit of luck we'll get all these potatoes on here. And I've just spotted a small molly. Yep, I know standing just off camera, but molly. And she's probably spotted it as well. Hold on. I don't think that one's going to make much difference, is it? Hey, Mo, there you go. There you go, sweetheart. 
that nice. Right, what have we got here? Well, I'm making that three and a half pound. What about you? Yep, three and a half pound. Um, so that's our smallest return so far from this raised bed. What have we got left in this bed? We've got some Vale Sovereign and they're looking really strong and healthy and in behind that we've got some Sap Omira. So two more reveals to do and then that'll be it again for another year here at Home Grown Veg. Okay, so you saw the deliveries, you saw what we got from Lily, Rooster and Saxon, uh, a bit up and down, um, but we're going to go outside shortly and do a live reveal and weighing. And the potato we're going to be taking today is a potato called Vale's Sovereign. And Vale's Sovereign is another shop bought potato. And when we've done that weighing, uh, we'll update the leaderboard.
so this is three veil sovereign shop bought potatoes shop bought set aside potatoes grown in a raised bed uh, let's see what veil sovereign can deliver uh, but let's check the calibration of these scales first you should zero the scales if I've done this right well, they're zeroed let me come round have a look Yeah, they look zero to me. Okay. Let's load this crate up. And let's hope it stays balanced. Let's see what we get. Oh wait, this end I think. Yeah, I think that's balanced it up better. What have we got? Let me have a look. It's a wind assisted um, six pound. What do you reckon? A wind assisted six pound. Okay, let's uh, let's go indoors. I'll download this piece of video. I'll update the uh, leaderboard, and then we'll post the video. Can you see who's hiding behind the seat? She knows I've harvested these potatoes. What about this little one? You want that one more? Can we do one more? Hey, I'm all just a titchy. Look, it's only a titchy. Hey, hey, I swear that. Okay, so this is homegrown veg, signing out.